good morning i am devasena in this lecture we are going to discuss about classical tcp improvements snooping tcp topic this topic is present in the subject wireless networks classical tcp improvements snooping tcp the main drawback of itcp that is indirect tcp is the segmentation of the single tcp connection into two tcp connections which loses the original end to end tcp semantic a new enhancement which leaves the tcp connection intact and is completely transparent is snooping tcp the main function is to buffer data close to the mobile host to perform fast local retransmission in case of packet loss snooping tcp representation is shown below this is the snooping tcp representation that is end to end tcp connection in further slides we will discuss in detail about this scenario snooping tcp in this snooping tcp approach the foreign agent buffers all packets with destination mobile host and additionally snoops the packet flow in both directions to recognize acknowledgments the foreign agent buffers every packet until it receives an acknowledgment from the mobile host if the foreign agent does not receive an acknowledgement from the mobile host within a certain amount of time either the packet or the acknowledgement has been lost alternatively the foreign agent could receive a duplicate ack which also shows the loss of packet now the foreign agent retransmits the packet directly from the buffer thus performing a faster retransmission compared to the correspondent host for transparency the foreign agent does not acknowledge data to the correspondent host which would violate end to end semantic in case of foreign agent failure using tcp representation is shown below here is a diagram in this diagram we are having the correspondent host at one end and mobile host at the other end in between the correspondent host and the mobile host a foreign agent foreign agent is placed now the data from the correspondent host reaches the foreign agent and the foreign agent buffers the data that is being received from the correspondent host now the foreign agent in turn acts and sends the data that is being received from the correspondent host to the mobile host when the mobile host sends the acknowledgement to the foreign agent and once again the other packets are being sent from the foreign agent to the mobile host now the packet transmission or the data transmission is being done between the foreign agent and the mobile host that is local retransmission is being done this is the entire representation of end to end tcp connection the foreign agent can filter the duplicate acknowledgments to avoid unnecessary retransmissions of data from the correspondent host if the foreign agent now crashes the timeout of the correspondent host still works and triggers a retransmission the foreign agent may discard duplicates of packets already retransmitted locally and acknowledged by the mobile host this avoids unnecessary traffic on wireless link snooping tcp packet delivery representation that is 
packet flow from correspondent node CN to mobile node MN is shown below. Here is a representation of packet delivery. Correspondent node is available in one end. Mobile node is available in another end. In between that the correspondent node and mobile node, foreign agent FA is present. Now, packet is generated from the correspondent node. It is transferred to foreign agent. From the foreign agent, the packet is immediately transferred to mobile node. For the received packet, the mobile node sends the acknowledgement to the foreign agent. From the foreign agent, the acknowledgement reaches the correspondent node immediately. Now, the correspondent node sends the second packet to the foreign agent. But the foreign agent uh, sends the packet to the mobile node. In between that, the packet is lost. That is timeout or duplicate acknowledgements is being generated so somehow the packet reaches fast local retransmission immediately the acknowledgement is generated from the mobile node that reaches the correspondent node so once again the packet is being sent from the correspondent node to the mobile node this is indicated in this diagram the data transfer from the mobile host with destination correspondent to host the foreign agent snoops into packet stream to detect gaps in the sequence number of tcp as soon as the foreign agent detects a missing packet it returns a negative acknowledgement that is n -E -Z -K, to the mobile host the mobile host can now retransmit the missing packet immediately a recording of packets is done automatically at the correspondent host by the TCP. Now we are going to discuss about packet delivery that is packet flow from mobile node to the correspondent node with the help of a diagrammatic representation. Here is a representation. Mobile node is placed at one end. The correspondent node is placed at another end. In between that mobile node and correspondent node, foreign agent is placed. Now the mobile node generates two packets that is being transmitted to the correspondent node through the foreign agent. For, as soon as the packet, two packets reaches the correspondent node, the correspondent node sends acknowledgement to the mobile node through the foreign agent. Now the mobile node plans to send four packets to the correspondent node through the foreign agent. Two packets reaches the correspondent node. The third packet is lost and the fourth packet is reaching the correspondent node. The foreign agent detects the gap that the third packet is not received by the foreign agent. So the foreign agent sends the negative acknowledgement to the mobile node. Then the third packet is being fast local retransmitted from the mobile node to the foreign agent. Then from the foreign agent, the packet is reached to the correspondent node. For those four packets, the correspondent node sends acknowledgement to the mobile node through the foreign agent. This is indicated in this diagram. See the analogy of the snooping TCP with the help of a small scenario. Here is the man which enters the data to the personal computer. So this portion is acting as a correspondent to host. Whatever the information is being done by the person is entered to the or transmitted to the internet. So now the internet is acting as a foreign agent. Now the information from the internet is being passed to the mobile host that is present at the other end. So now the information that is being transmitted from the correspondent host is stored or buffered in the internet. The internet serves the information to the mobile host. This is represented in this 
snooping TCP analogy. Let us see an another analogy of snooping TCP. Now we are considering a car manufacturing factory. This car manufacturing factory is analogous to the correspondent to host that is present in snooping TCP. Whatever the cars manufactured by the factory is being sent to the showroom. This is represented here. The showroom in turn sends or sells the manufactured car received from the factory to the consumers. Here the showroom is acting as a foreign agent in snooping TCP. Here if a car is faulted or any faults that is present in the car means the showroom takes the responsibility of servicing the car and hand over the serviced car to the consumers. So in the one end is the manufacturing of car. This is acting as a correspondent to host and in the other end the person receives the car. This is acting as a mobile host. In between these two ends the showroom is present. The showroom is acting as a foreign agent in the snooping TCP. Let's see an another analogy of snooping TCP with the help of a another scenario. In this scenario, a film is produced by the film production company. This is acting as a correspondent to host. That is the film production company is acting as a correspondent to host in snooping TCP. This scenario is analogous to the correspondent to host. Now the produced film is transferred to the digital platform. Let us consider here we are having a prime video platform. Okay, This prime video platform is acting as a foreign agent in the snooping TCP. Now the prime video platform in turn distributes or video streams the received film from the production company to the clients or the customers. This is represented. Now the produced video is streamed by the prime video only not by the production company. So the production company is analogous to the correspondent to host in the snooping TCP. Prime video platform is analogous to the foreign agent situation in the snooping TCP and the other end the consumers or the clients are acting as mobile host in the snooping TCP. Advantages of snooping TCP. The end-to-end -end TCP semantic is preserved. Most of the enhancements are done in the foreign agent itself which keeps correspondent host unchanged. No problem arises if the new foreign agent uses the enhancement or not. If not, approach automatically falls back to the standard solution. Handover of the state is not required as soon as the mobile host moves to another foreign agent. This is advantages of snooping TCP. Snooping TCP does not isolate the behavior of the wireless link as well as ITCP that is indirect TCP. Transmission errors may propagate till the correspondent to host CH. Using negative acknowledgements between foreign agent and the mobile host assumes additional mechanisms on the mobile host. This approach is no longer transparent for arbitrary mobile host. Snooping and buffering data may be useless if certain encryption seams are applied end to end between the correspondent host and mobile host.
thank you very much for listening this lecture for further updates kindly subscribe this channel if you like this video means you can share this video to your friends